Hello and welcome back to AP Take Tutorials. Uh, in, in this short video today, I will show you how you can connect to a Wi-Fi network in Windows uh, 11. That little icon, and first of all, make sure that the uh, the, the Wi-Fi symbol here it's blue. It's it's available. I'm just gonna show you if it's if it's turned off, it'll sh it it'll be black. So it means that it is off. So I will go back and revert to change. Okay, I'm just gonna change it to. Uh, Wi-Fi and then again, I'm just gonna do it again. I click on this little icon here and I'm going to uh, Look for available networks. These are some of the available networks I'm just going to select this one. I'm just gonna select connect automatically and I will enter the uh, <clears throat> The password uh, for this network and which is a little long, okay, that's the password so um, I will then go to uh, here and then click next and wait uh, to see what happens. So as you can see, it is now connected. And if you look at the information here, it's gonna bring you up to this, uh, to this big uh, screen if you, if you wanna do that. Now, I'm just going to uh, close that and, and this is what you're gonna see here. Now, um, now if you are using, uh, there's two ways to connect to the internet uh, using a cable or using uh, the Wi-Fi adapter. In this case, I'm gonna, in this case, I will change the IP address of the uh, of the Wi-Fi adapter, right? So I'm just gonna right click on it, just gonna select network and internet, and on this spot here, right at the bottom, select advanced network settings, and then uh, right at the very bottom, more network adapter options. And here, you're gonna see all the adapters that you have here on this computer. In my particular case, uh, because I have a docking station, I have one here, this one, uh, one that is uh, a Wi-Fi, um, a, a, a wire connector, uh, an RJ45 connector on my uh, laptop. It, this one here, it's a beer connector USB. And this one is the Wi-Fi. This is the one that I'm actually interested in. As you can see, did red, did red cross there that you see there. That means that there, none of them are connected. The only one that's connected is this one here. A little bit of uh, some detail here that may be of interest to you. Uh, you right click on it and click on status. When you click on status, one of the things you're gonna see here is that you're connected to the internet right there, right? In, it's it's proof, it's evidence that you are connected to the internet. To the internet, it's important you look at IPv4 because IPv6 is usually it's normally not used in home environments. All right. So the other thing is that the SSID, which is the name of the Wi-Fi, is right there what you connected previously. Uh, this is the speed, it's 1.2 gigabyte per second. It's a very high speed. And here, if you click on details, you're gonna see right there, that's my IP address and other information there, like uh, my DNS ad, uh, uh, my DNS server as well. But well, it, it, the most important thing for you here is the IP address, click uh, close. And uh, if you go into the wireless property here, uh, you're gonna see something here, uh, that you're gonna like. Uh, of course, you have to be connected in case you forget your password that you enter for any reason. You can always come here and click on security and click on show characters and it will show you the password right there. I'm not gonna do it, of course, um, uh, because it will reveal my Wi-Fi password right there. Okay, so that's how you reveal the, pa the password in case you forget. Now, if for some reason, uh, remember, you need to be connected to the Wi-Fi in order to reveal uh, the password. If you're not connected, you will not see it for sure, okay? Now, let's go ahead and uh, and find out what the IP address uh, it was. Uh, remember, it was a 65, as we saw. It's the uh, number 65 at the end, right? And I'm going to go ahead and go to Properties in the... In Double click, uh, you have the option to double click on this or you just click here on property, it's up to you. Uh, and then click here and then use an IP address. I'm just gonna enter exactly the same IP address that this machine has so it doesn't create any conflict. When it comes to the subnet mask, just enter this one, which is very common for home users, right? And then 10.5.40.1. That's my uh, default gate. Click OK and I'm gonna click uh, close and that's about it. Now, how do you know that you have the static IP address? Again, in, in my case, I, di I di did not change it. I just applied the same one, which uh, in this case was assigned by the uh, 
by the router. But in my particular case, now it will remain static until I change it. So I'm going to go back and revert the changes because I don't need a static IP on this one. But that's how you basically do it. Click on here, obtain uh, an IP address automatically. And I'm just I'm going to leave this here as this because I need I have a local DNS uh, to share files, etc. And I'm just going to leave it like that. So when you click OK, it's going to change back to, you see, the little icon here. It changed back, uh, but don't worry about it. Uh, you will eventually connect to it. Again, if you want to see what's your IP address, uh, just right click, click on status, go to detail, and that's going to show. That's one way to do it. Uh, the other way to do it, it's just by coming here and uh, click on CMD, which is the command prompt. Uh, the Microsoft DOS command prompt, and then in here, enter ipconfig, and then space all, and it will show you all the adapters, IP address that are assigned to any adapter. Now, because I'm only connected to one of them, uh, it's the, wireless, uh, the wireless LAN, which is the adapter that I show you. You see here, it's the same IP address there, 65, all right? The 10.5.40.65. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please uh, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, I'll be happy to help you if you have any questions. Thank you and have yourself a great day.